morning, good afternoon, good evening from wherever you're watching this from. I hope you all are doing great from your respective classes. Welcome back to another video and to another story. Nika has eaten again. And the fact that she's stating it even makes the matter worse makes people even want to speculate if that's even true if it does exist or not according to nika she thinks that prince william and cat are obviously still very into each other if uh, that needed to be said then it is obviously not true why do i feel like she's trying to reassure herself more than anyone else why is she kind of trying to convince the public that you know what our welters are still together and whatnot and what forth yet in real sense that's not the case it looks very very much uh, you know automatic that these people are battling something we call divorce and of course there's somebody between them that's not ready or willing to let go not at the look of the photos they don't seem okay royal nika can't convince the public otherwise and one thing that people are so much sure about is that these people separated long time ago and they are just kind of trying to play it lower and just to, you know convince the public that yeah it's different but that's not the case. what's your thinking what's your thought on this let me just read you a piece written by kaiser about her perspective on what royer nicker stated the prince and princess of wales have not seemed specifically close in years they do not seem close emotionally nor physically and their out-rumored separation seems on the vaga of being confirmed at times. Especially when William keeps suggesting that he doesn't see his kids for days or weeks at a time. We can say with our own eyes that William and Kat seem strained in each other's presence. And that they seem to take pains to avoid touching each other. But this is the marriage everyone seems specifically invested in, especially the royalists, which means that it's up to royal reporters to try to convince people not to believe their own eyes, but fall on their lies, fall on what they have to say. That's crazy. That's crazy. What do you think? Because I'm not convinced, not even for a minute, that these people still live under the same roof. That's one. I'm not convinced that their marriage is intact. That's two. I'm not convinced that everything on their side is working out right. There's nothing convincing over there. There's nothing to kind of just, uh, you know, I don't know. But that's very much clear. This couple are battling something. Separation or divorce, they just need to tell us. They just need to let us know. I think uh, the timing of this uh, story is supposed to be in court. The 14th anniversary of William and Kat announcing their engagement. The purpose of this kind of story is muddy and thor. It's not enough that William and Kat are still technically together. It's even not enough that no one has sought of console a divorce lawyer. It's not enough that they targeted through. A couple of joint appearances this year. Royer and the other royalists have to convince people that uh, we are witnessing some kind of grand love story. And very few are buying it. I also think that nothing has put Will and Kat's marriage problems into sharper relief 
than the visible affection and love Harry and Meghan have for each other. It's not enough to spread this uh, fascination about Will and Cat. They desperately need to convince people that the star success are unhappy and on the verge of divorce. It's always said that what has been said that's happening to Harry and Meghan, it's basically the opposite, but happening to the Wellses. They've predicted the divorce. They've said about well, they're not good emotionally, physically, psychologically. Body language experts always tend to want to say something to do with Harry and Meghan whenever they are out. But they never dare utter a word, speaking of uttering a thing, to do with the Wellses. It's basically the other way around. What you thinking? What's your thought on this? Roya Nika is just basically making a fool out of herself because the public is not convinced. No one feels convinced, not even for a minute. If that's what she thinks, that's up to her, but not a porn. What we can see and can basically judge from our end. William has never shown a lot of affection towards Kat, especially in public. You can tell how eager she is for more attention and the way she reacts when he does throw her an affectionate born every once in a while. I think he is uh, just something else in nature and doesn't love Kat but doesn't want to say it. I think it's off putting a slightly unattractive, you know, whatever they are battling, they themselves know it. They themselves know it, but are not ready to put it out to the public. If a divorce happened long time ago, let us know. Bring it to an end. Come out clean. End it up for once and for all. End it once and for all what's your thinking what's your attack because myself not even for a minute can royal utter something that's basically wanting to kind of you know brainwash the public to do with william and cat how working for william what do we expect nothing but of course she has to try to her best of her capability to ensure that what she says settles so well with convincing the public that that Walter's marriage is intact. But that's not what we see. That's why it's not easy to convince people. For my own perspective, just let me know your thoughts in the comment section and hoping to see you guys in our next more videos to come. And if you are new here, kindly don't forget to hit the subscribe button and join our family which is our sex squad forever